Are you into flankers or do you think some fragrance brands should give it a rest already? I'm with you there, but in today's video I'm going to share with you some five great flankers that I actually like more than the original fragrances they were released after. So if you guys want to check them out and see which ones they are, stick around, the video's up next. Welcome back to another fragrance video. I'm Max Forte. If you love to make a great first impression, smelling great is definitely a good way to start. In today's video, we're gonna talk about flankers, but not just any flankers. We all know that we're getting a slew of fragrance flankers every year. Every brand has a sport flanker, an oud flanker, an extreme flanker, you name it, they're out there. Some fragrances are overdoing it, but needless to say, there are some good ones, few and far in between, and today I'm gonna to share some five great ones that I actually enjoy better than the original. And by the way, if you like this concept, if you wanna see me do a part two of this particular video, please be sure to show in the like and leave it in the comments, and I'll come back with a part two uh, you know, of this particular video for you guys. So first things first, what is a flanker? Most of you watching this video will already know what a flanker is, but maybe if you're a noob, if you're starting to the fragrance world, fragrance collecting, you wanna know what the heck a frank flanker, fragrance flanker is. Uh, I try to say that fast three times. So first things first, what is a flanker? Perhaps if you're watching this video and you're a fragrance aficionado for years, you're a collector, you know what a flanker is, but if you noob into the fragrance game, if you're starting in the fragrance community, you're starting to collect fragrances, you might say to yourself, what the heck is a flanker? So a flanker essentially is a fragrance that is modeled after a certain fragrance. So it's another uh, continuation, it's another iteration of that particular fragrance. I'm gonna give you a quick example here. So Dolce & Cabana The One Eau de Toilette and Dolce & Cabana The One EDP, they're gonna appear next to me here. You can see the bottles themselves are very similar with some darker facets to the, uh, to the Eau de Parfum, which meant that they took the original EDT, you know, characteristics and amped it up. They, they made the, the tobacco a little stronger, they made the amber a little sweeter and a little bit more amplified. So that's what that means. Essentially, a flanker is a continuation of an existing fragrance with, you know, different attributes or maybe amped up characteristics from the original. So having said that, let's talk about my fifth option here. Now, these are in no particular order. These are great flankers that, again, I love more than the original. And we're gonna start talking about just the one we just talked about, which is Eau de Parfum of the Dolce & Gabbana The One in comparison to the EDT. Olivier Poge is the perfumer here, which is now the Chanel in-house perfumer. He did a fantastic job with this particular fragrance. This is actually the first release of this particular fragrance from 2015. This is actually a first formulation of that fragrance, which is absolutely fantastic. As I was saying before, he amped up the tobacco. He made the amber a little sweeter, a little bit more amplified. Taking that original great tobacco amber, you know, lavender kind of a feel that we all come to love from the original EDT, to the next level, making it a little bit more longer lasting as performance was an issue with EDT. So if you guys haven't checked this one out, definitely a flanker that I do enjoy more than the original. Next up, we have a fragrance that is compared to a fragrance that perhaps copied this fragrance, and I'm talking about Chanel Allure Homme Sport, and then we had Versace Pour Homme in 2008, which is kind of copying that particular scent character, but then Chanel went ahead and took it a couple steps further, releasing this particular fragrance that I absolutely love, which is Chanel Allure Homme Sport Eau Extreme, which takes that mint and tonka vibe. Well, actually, it takes the original Allure Homme Sport, you know, citrus aromatic with a little aldehylic uh, kind of undertone, adding this beautiful mint up top along with the tonka beans in the base, just taking it to the next level, making an outstanding fragrance, long lasting, great for compliments. And you know, needless to say, with the Chanel quality that we all come to love and what we expect from Chanel is pure class, and that's what you find in this bottle. Great for compliments. You guys heard about this fragrance over and over again. Definitely a great way to get started within the Chanel, you know, pour own fragrances. And this particular one, definitely my favorite from the Chanel Allure uh, collection. So Eau Extreme here, a flanker that I do like more than the original uh, Chanel Allure Homme Sport. Speaking of masterpieces, this next one I consider to be a masterpiece of modern day perfumery. And this particular fragrance is modeled after the original 2005 Dior Homme, which was an outstanding creation. Francois de Marchi then gave us Dior Homme Intense. Uh, in 2007 and then in 2014 he gave us this incredible fragrance that to me it is the best flanker of this particular collection. This is the Oran Parfum which takes the iris uh, patchouli cocoa like vibe and amps it up with a dirty leather accord and a hint, a touch of oud in the composition. Just oriental to its finest guys. If you haven't checked this out, 
please do. This stuff here is, again, a masterpiece uh, in modern-day perfumery. Call it what you will. Some people I know like to call this natural sexual of the fragrances, but needless to say, you have to tip your hat off to a great composition, and this one here is nothing short of a great composition. Definitely my favorite flanker of this particular lineup, Dior Parfum here at the third spot. Again, we're going to stay here with another flanker that definitely has that cocoa, patchouli kind of a vibe that I do love. And in this one, in this particular flanker that we're talking about now is modeled after the original 2005 five release L'Instant de Garland and of course it's going to be a Garland um, you know release here and this is L'Instant de Garland Eau Extreme or as we all know here in the fragrance community Lidge. This particular one guys if you like a gorgeous cocoa but chewy type of a scent almost gives you like a boozy tobacco kind of a feel especially in the beginning it has this you know, orange liqueur kind of a facet as well. Just a great scent. It's sensual. It's sexy. It's, you know, just compelling, warm, amazing. You know, you've seen how much I wore this juice. You know, I have a backup bottle, thank goodness, because the Darker Edges was reformulated twice. We now have this particular fragrance in a lighter, uh, you know, bottle without the darker edges, and, and it was released a third time with a skinny bottle, which is now customary to all Gohlan fragrances. But Lidge, if you can find in this here in the, the darker edges, I think it's definitely my favorite number one from the Ohm collection. And Linsen de Gohlamo Extreme, guys, it's just one of those fragrances that just took that genre to the next level guys this stuff here is uncanny again another masterpiece if you love patchouli if you love cocoa fragrances if you like this particular line here from from, from dior you're going to absolutely fall in love with this one if you can find this bottle do pick it up because you're going to be blown away and last but not least we have a 2018 release which i've spoken to you guys about on the channel immensely i think it's a great flanker to a fragrance that was a little bit tired was originally released in 1949 so it needed a an uplift it needed like a facelift or a reconstruction if you will and this particular fragrance here is of course mustache eau de parfum from rochas i love rochas fragrances i think you always get a lot for your money a big bang for your buck if you will thick glass bottle thick metal cap beautiful sprayer mist and this particular scent is just mind-blowing talk about a scent that's going to smell of fine quality of you know high-end refined you smell this fragrance immediately it's going to have this boozy kind of a facet it's ambery it's vanilla it's benzoin it's a little bit spicy reminds me of tuxedo from Yves Saint Laurent so if you like that fragrance right off the bat you know this stuff is going to smell amazing guys and for the price point the stuff you can you can have this fragrance between 50 and 60 dollars on the gray market it's definitely a steal if you ask me and I urge you guys to pick this up if you can if you have a taste like mine if you like woody spicy scents this stuff here is as good as it gets and of course, if you guys want to check these fragrances out, I have links below where you might be able to pick these up. And of course, if you guys want to try them before you buy them, most of these fragrances, you can actually try them at myfragrancesamples.com, which again, I'll have all the links below along with the code MAX15 for 15% off at checkout for any decant samples you guys might want to try. So that's all I have for you guys today. These are the five flankers that I like it more than the original fragrances that they were modeled after. If you guys love this particular concept, if you want to see a second part of this or a third part of this, if you want me to continue to do these videos on this channel you know flinkers that i like more than the original slide your finger in the like button click the little subscriber for a lot more content of course let me know in the comments your thoughts on these flankers and which ones are your flankers that you guys love more than the original. I'll check them out. Perhaps I'll try some of yours that I haven't tried already. And don't forget to click the little notification bell icon so you get videos like these straight into your feed. And of course, I appreciate the support as always. And of course, as always, remember fragrance is emotion in motion. It's a part of who you are. So be sure to wear what truly moves you. And I'll see you guys right back here real soon with another video. Take care.